Yeah, but I'm either being a free Break that chase, don't do no risk, come on, drive a leap Yo, hello, it's Ravi here And in today's video, I will be showing you guys how to make the 3D water text you guys saw in the beginning And if you guys want to support me, check out editingvisuals.com Where I have some editing packs that could benefit your editing, make it more efficient and uh, improve your editing overall Let's get uh, right into this tutorial here So the first thing we're going to do is to make the 3D text So we're going to make a new solid layer by right clicking here, new solid and here we're going to add element 3d so if you open up custom layers and custom text and mask you can add a text layer here so you're going to do that by making a text i'm going to make it say water then i'm going to adjust it a little bit something like that looks good to me so now we can make the text layer invisible and then go back to element 3d here and here on custom text and mask we can choose our text layer we just made just like that and then we're going to open up scene setup so now when you're in scene setup here you're going to press extrude here to get your text and here we're going to set our bevel scale to 15 and then we're going to open up presets here physical and choose chrome so we get a nice reflection of the text and then we're going to press ok and from here we're going to make a simple fast animation here so you're going to open up group one particle look particle replicator and we're going to keyframe the particle size and the rotation here specifically the x rotation so you're going to open the layer up here effects element group one so you can see the keyframes so we're going to set the particle size to zero and then we're going to go to four seconds into our animation and here we're going to set our x rotation to minus 21 degrees and then and then the particle size to 10.5 so we get something like this here and we're going to mark the keyframes and press f9 to easy step and we're going to adjust the x rotation graph here so you're going to open it up just like that and if the graph looks like this here you're going to right click and go to edit value graph instead and here I'm just going to make it a little bit faster in the beginning. So I'm going to drag this down to something like this. So it becomes faster in the beginning and then slower in the ending. Now we can quit the graph editor and then select particle look uh, keyframes here. Go to the graph and here it's going to look the same. But uh, the graph is kind of opposite. So we're going to drag this up instead. The animation looks something like this here. Looks pretty clean. After that. Uh, for this water effect to work, we need to have a white area. That is where the water is going to affect or be on, basically. So, so for the moment, the brightest areas here is where the water is going to affect, basically. So it will look kind of weird because that would make this text kind of outline for the moment. So how to fix that is to go down here to render settings, physical environment, and here rotate environment. And I'm going to rotate the environment a little bit to make it more bright. So I'm going to set the X rotation to minus 17, Y rotation to minus 63, and Z rotation to 19 degrees, just like that. So now the water effect is going to affect the whole text here. Sprite all the time. And now when we are done with this, we're going to pre-compose these two layers. So you're going to select them, right click, pre-compose, and you can make it invisible for the moment. And now we're going to make a solid layer. So you're going to right click here, new, solid. And here we're going to add fractal noise. And I'm going to set the fractal type to subscale, the contrast to 200, brightness to minus 10, and then open up transform, uncheck uniform scaling, and here set the scale height to 400. And after that, to make this moving or animated, we're going to hold Alt on your uh, keyboard and then press this clock here on evolution. So you get this express tab up here and you're going to type time store key 250. So now it's going to look something like this here. After that, we're going to add CC blobilize. And here you can open up a blobiness and you're going to choose your 3D text layer. So now you can see the text here looks pretty, pretty nice. We can leave the uh, settings at the default, add a new effect called CC glass. And here you can open up surface and you're going to choose your 3D text layer again. But here we're going to change the softness to 8.5 and then the height is going to be 100 and after that we're going to set the displacement at zero so now we get a pretty clean glass look here that really sells the like 3d look here you can see it becomes like kind of outlined down here which is pretty clean and after that we're going to be adding cc mr mercury so now we get this kind of water effect here and we're going to start off by setting the radius x to 75 
and the radius y to 75 as well. After that we're going to set the velocity to 0.5 and then the birth rate to 110.4 and the longevity to 4, gravity to 0 and the blob birth size to 0. So now it's going to look something like this here. Pretty clean. And now I want to add some like bubbles to this. And in order to make the bubbles, I'm going to add a texture and uh, I'm going to use one of my overlays from my uh, particle overlay pack. But if you don't have my uh, particle overlay pack, you can check out my website or try to find uh, a texture to use on uh, YouTube or something like that. So I'm going to use this one here and here we're going to add threshold and set the level to a fairly big tonate, something like this. So you can pre-compose this, you can make it invisible. And then we're going to duplicate our water text uh, layer here. So control D and you can drag this one under and rename it to bubbles or something. And the only thing we're going to change here is the layer here, of course. We're going to set it at water bubbles instead in blobbiness here. And then on glass here as well, surface and here choose water bubbles. And here on Mr. Mercury, we're going to change the radius here to 40 on radius X. And on radius Y, it's going to be 40 here as well. Otherwise, it's going to be the same settings. Now we're going to be adding a adjustment layer. So we're going to press Control Alt Y. And here we're going to add Cartoon. So the reason we add this is just to sell the, the 3D text effect here a little bit more. So it becomes a little bit more outlined. So I'm going to set the detail radius to around 11. And the threshold to 2.2. 26 and then the width is going to be one and that should be good after that we're going to be adding a new adjustment layer so Control alt y and here we're going to be adding four color gradient and i'm going to choose a brighter blue because i want it to look like water here so something like this here looks good and you're going to copy this to all of the other color positions here this color here copy the color like that and then you're going to choose color on blending mode and you're going to set the opacity to 37 and now we're going to add rays to this and here we're going to set the uh, rays length to 1 and the rays brightness to 1.5 and then here on the rays color you're going to choose a tiny tiny light blue here so something like this just so it blends in a little bit with the color and then after that we're going to be adding deep glow and you're going to set the radius to 1110 and then the exposure to 0 0.53. Shake smooth blending. And after that, we're going to make a adjustment layer. So control alt y and here just to sell the water effect a little bit more, we're going to add a effect called heat wave. And I'm just going to use the default settings for this. And I think this looks pretty, pretty clean here. But I have a bonus version for you guys. So we're going to make this CC invisible. And if you have my TV glitch pack, we're going to add a effect from there. So you're going to make a new adjustment, adjustment layer by pressing Ctrl Alt Y. And here we're going to add the TV glitch effect 10. And when you add that to the text, it's going to look something like this here, which looks pretty, pretty clean here. I really, really like this look here. So yeah, just to, you know, cook up a new version here, like a, a liquid... Uh, glitch effect here looks very very cool so yeah if you guys wanna you know support me please check out my website where you can buy this pack make this cool look here so now when you're done it's going to look something like this here it looks absolutely amazing and uh, if you guys you know <laughs> think it looks good uh, as well and like this tutorial you know please like and subscribe and if you guys have any new ideas on tutorials i can make please comment down below don't forget to check out my socials check out my discord server and of course, check out my website. And yeah, I will see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.